So prop tip for us today is that Neven Road, we are right here entering into one of the rare balanced shop houses that is still below the $6 million benchmark in one of the rarest kind of conservation shop house property that you can potentially own, especially if you're in the dilemma of comparing between a landed home as well as a residential conservation shop house. Let's go to the D9 Orchard region today. Right now in the entire Singapore, there are only about 7,000 conservation shop house status which belongs to a mixture of whether is it a pure commercial, a mixed commercial residential or a pure residential status like this particular shop house that we are standing in. So this is a little bit like buying into a landed property but it's not exactly a landed status. However, it belongs to a freehold residential status but it also has a conserved status as a shop house. Let's have a look at Naven Road. On top of being just one out of the seven odd thousand conserved shop house and being of the fact that it enjoys a freehold status, the second fact is that it actually belongs to one of the five enclaves right here in D9 Orchard. The first one is Emerald Hill leads the entire pack in terms of pricing right now. They start from 10 odd million dollars all the way to 20 over or even 30 million dollars. In terms of PSF, it has already attained a status of about seven to eight thousand dollars per square foot for some of its conservation residential shop house right there. That's within the Orchard Shopping Bell is also being very walkable towards Somerset MRT Station. Now the second locale will be the Nutmeg area and that's where Jalan Elok is which is the enclave and we're so on the properties right there which is behind the Paragon and Mount E Hospital region. So if you've not seen that home tour, you can head on to watch this home tour. And of course the third enclave will be where Devonshire is. Some of the shop houses are there. They have a combination of commercial as well as residential status properties. And the fourth locale will be Jalan Anak and this is the fifth locale which is at Neven Road. This locale, it is with within this very beautiful perimeter which is on the right flank of Istana. So this region right here also enjoys a perimeter of five different MRT stations. You can access this region either coming from Bukitima Road, you can come in from Saligi Road, you can also come in from Middle Road which is the Bugis area. This area is also being known as the Arts Belt in Singapore because that's where La Salle and a lot of art school are being located here. Now, I'm standing in a two-story shop house status that's sitting on a land of about 1,200 odd square feet. And this is very similar to like inter-terrace concept with front and back, as well as two side walls that's being linked towards the row of shop houses right here. Some of the smaller size inter-terraces at Upper Thompson, at McPherson, they have a size of about 800 plus, or about 1,002 square feet. So this is a 1,002 square feet. It's almost fully usable right from the entryway when you step in because a shop house do not need to have that 7.5 meter setback from the front and doesn't need to account for car porch area. Shop house enjoys that five foot way right outside. That is also one of the heritage nature in Singapore. If I were to track back this 1,002 plus square feet and include the car porch at the front, it will then bring us to about 1,006 square feet. So in nature, it's a little bit quite similar to the standard brick and mortar 1,006 square feet inter terraces, less of the car porch and you're buying a full on built-in area standing on this land size. And when you buy a shop house, you're buying both the land and the structure. And this standing built area of about 2,007 odd square feet. Asking price is $5.7 million. In terms of landed properties, there's approximately about 73 to 74,000 in terms of the entire landed supply. Of course, that comprise of freehold, triple nines and 99 landed properties in the entire Singapore. If you were to buy one of the landed properties in Singapore, this is of course one of the cream of the crop in terms of the entire housing stock population. Because just compare that with the amount of condominiums right here in Singapore, there's about 340,000. Of course, HDB apartments are about 1.1 million in terms of overall quantity. However, there's another category, which is the conservation shop houses, which which is about 7,000 odd quantity in the entire Singapore region. So this is even more rare in terms of the amount of supply that's available. And of course, there's no more brand new shop houses that's going to be built, less any conserved status. Now to have a conserved status, URA has demarcated this entire street to maintain its facade. Then of course that preserves its heritage nature and it creates a top tier result in terms of attractability. And most importantly, these are of a freehold status. So so to own one of 7,000 of the entire investment property stock in Singapore, this firstly creates a rarity effect.
if you have an investment range budget of about below 6 mil, what are some of the things that you can invest in in D9? Basically, you can look at the range and Jalan Elok because the rest of the landed enclaves, the overall quantum is already in a very high quantum range. Second range is that with 5 over million dollars, probably you can go for maybe a 4 bedder as some of the older condominiums. If not, generally speaking, you'll be getting about 3 bedrooms for this kind of price range, uh, if, especially if you're hunting for a freehold condominium in the D9 region. Now, third tier, of course, will be to look at this kind of rare shop houses that is available in the market. But most importantly also, with this status of about $500,000 of renovation being pumped into it, what we notice is that landed properties right here, they are already trading at about $3,000 per square foot range. This one will trade in the range of about $4,800 per square foot. Condominium status, they are trading at about $2,800 per square foot for some of the resale and $3,000 plus for more up-tier freehold properties. As we go one more level of comparison towards the fourth range, that will be how the 99s new launches are doing in the D9 region as well. For example, Canning Hill Pierce, which is about $3,000 plus per square foot. P Center has also been on block and is going through redevelopment. Of course, that is going to be relaunched. And it's also important to understand that when we compare with the Strata properties, these are trading on Strata PSF level. However, the pure landed properties and residential shop house, they are being compared on a land PSF level. So based on this $5.7 million vis-a-vis -a, -vis a thousand two hundred plus square feet land, that is at about $4,000 plus per square foot. However, if I were to use the build-up area of this particular shop house, which is at 2,077 square feet, sitting on the land size of 1,249 square feet, based on $5.7 million vis-a-vis -a -vis 2,077 build-up area, that's going to bring us to about $2,744 per square feet. This, in comparison, will sit on par with the freehold resale properties, the new launch 99s properties, and it's gonna make a lot of sense, especially when the overall quantum entry of this shop house is very similar to some of the three and four bedrooms available in the D9 market. So I would like to reintroduce our trifactor. Sometimes it's extremely difficult to have three holes seated right in the middle of the triangle. And the top tier being the entry quantum that's below $6 million. On the right flank of the triangle, of course, is the PSF level, which is on paper, based on land, it's about $4,000 plus per square foot. But based on build up, it's only about $2,700 plus per square foot. And the land size is also very decent at about 1249 square feet, sitting on a build up of 2077 square feet. So in totality, this trifactor triangle, represents properties which fits the bill for size, for quantum, and for PSF entry feasibility. Naturally speaking, based on how transactions are moving, maybe in one to two years time, we will not be able to see properties that is below the $6 million bandwidth in the entire D9, not just for landed properties, but as well for entry level residential shop houses like this one. Now, this particular residential shop house, after being renovated with a gut reno of $500,000 by our clients, still preserves the facade and nature because it's of a conservation status. Just have a look at the two air well right at the top flank. It's a freeway entry, but it has already been covered up transparently by a glass panel. You can also decorate the five foot way outside, which as you can see, has this very beautiful heritage kind of tiles. Now, moving in, our clients created this entry foyer space. Now, this is perfect for a sitting zone. On top of having the preserved main door. So you also have an internal modern gate right here that you can close up. This zone has this full panel storage for a DB box as well as for your shoe storage space. Now I need to talk about this tiles. This one tile is longer than my entire body with my hands being raised and I think it's more than two odd meters. Beautifully laid, a lot of workmanship involved and this just creates a nice expensive kind of feel towards the entire depth of the home. Just have a look at a rental price of a typical apartment right here that's about 1,000 square feet in D9. You will typically need to go in at about five or to $6,000 for let's say a two bader or maybe a compact three bader. Of course, some of the more popular projects can go up to $7,000 in terms of money rental. Now, a typical office space right here will go for about $9,000 for at least a 1,000 square feet size for offices like this along this road. If let's say you want a dual usage, so level one can be reserved for your home office. Let's say you run an architect firm, you run a law firm, 
firm, you can apply for a home office status. Level two, fit in the door entryway and reserve that as your private home upstairs for you and your family. If you want to also rent this out separately and you're not going to stay here, you're just going to use this level one as your own office for your own business. And level two, you want to utilize that as an external rental. You can also split up the amount with about $9,000 rental right here and about six to seven thousand dollars upstairs and the rental upstairs or downstairs is going to supplement into your overall monthly installment for this particular investment property The back structure allows this beautiful yard to be created with the air well right towards the top. This is of course the positioning for your laundry space. And of course you have a beautiful island that's right towards this open kitchen zoning. Now, the kitchen stretches all the way from the yard zone towards this area right here towards the dining zone. This can go up to eight seater right in the middle. Beautiful. And across it, I just love the metal panels right below the stairway. Beautifully inserted. This is actually very deep storage with very high ceiling. And then you float towards your fridge zoning, Miller appliances, and all these are brand new. Let's have a look at this. It's not even used once at all. This home is really built for the next owner. And you also have like a huge sink with shelves at the top. And if you notice, ceiling height is fantastic. Now, something to note about the aircon is that these are all ducted aircons towards the ceiling so the ceiling is even higher actually there's also mechanical vents Miller appliances again three burners right here one induction stove at this corner cooker hood at the top if you notice a lot of the plug points are all being factored in over here and you have a lot of storage towards the bottom and internal storage systems are also meticulously planned with soft closures and of course very well planned for longevity and the living zone is not even fully utilized you still have this huge wall towards the back of course if you want to create an entire bookcase right here this is the perfect place for you to do so tv console has already been created entire theme is more of an over blue modern concept Meantime, before I head out, I need to talk about the amount of renovation and types of materials being used. You're going to take over a home that is freshly gutted with full-on renovation and with extremely quality materials. And the water pipes in this home are imported from England. And the brand of tiles are from GFA. This large format tiles are extremely rare because it enhances the space and they are also very difficult to work with. Now, even the backsplash of the kitchen are hand-painted Italian tiles. And just on tilings alone, this cost close about $80,000 dollars in terms of the tiles materials and that's almost equivalent to some of the whole cost of a HDB property renovation and furnishings are from cartel the sofa lounge set costs about ten thousand dollars dining table is from Ligny Rosette which is around a range of a nine odd thousand dollars pendant lighting from Europe and Japanese bookcase from Grafton something to note when you come for the viewing is that the karaoke set the coffee machine tic-tac-toe set as well as the rosewood tools as mentioned at the start of this video will not be included because they have sentimental value for more owners This feels exactly like landed property. Now, when you come from a physical view, you notice that even for level two, the ceiling height is really high. But uh, the ceiling height at the front is much higher than the ceiling height towards the back. Now, this level has two extremely huge bedrooms. You can create your third bedroom right in this segment in front of me. So this is like an open area family zoning right here with this very beautiful designer bookcase. This zoning right here with this L wall beside me, is a partition wall and you need a third bedroom bring down this L wall this actually is the very beautiful designer walk-in wardrobe zoning in this room you can actually shift out this entire wardrobe space because this is a modular system created from OPSH you're not going to waste any materials reconfigure this zoning right here towards the window panels and what I love is because we are sitting a little bit like an elevated land right behind is the Mount Emily region and of course this is your own internal air well it's fully private nobody's going to look into your home right here you can reposition your entire wardrobe space right here maybe let's have the motion graphics team help me to transport that modular system into this area populate this in a nice flowy manner before you hit towards your ensuite bathroom and then you can still position a king bed towards this direction and this can still maintain its authenticity right here. Basically what you need to do 
is to mask out this zoning here with a partition wall and this zoning and reserve this entire space for your third bedroom starting from this corner. So you can actually pull out a wall here and that creates all the way towards this zoning right here and create a little foyer before you enter into your main master at the front. So this can be a fantastic good sized third bedroom. You can open up air vents at the top and of course the mechanical air vents is already situated right here. You can open up air pocket windows at the top just a little bit like this kind of pocket windows. And the moment you walk in here, I just love the concept of the blue windows. Okay, so when you come to Neven Road, you will firstly recognize that this is like an art zoning. And secondly is that level one has a lot of home offices. And this just gives you an insight into the amount of popularity right here in terms of usage of this space. Definitely, I think whatever you want to put here, you have a lot of space because this is like one huge block of square space. Right opposite me, put in your king bed. A lot of lighting points has already been done. You have this top area here that you can put in your books as well. Walk in wardrobe space located right at this corner. Similarly, this is uh, the same brand as the one that you see in the other room. Pull out, soft closure. It's a very nice concept that's already been planned out for you. Of course, over here, this is the place for you to put in your TV console. You can put in your study desk right here. You can also put in lounge chair right at this corner. Just at this entryway, this is where your beautiful ensuite with large format tiles is being done and of course, honeycomb tiles as well. Very much like a modern electric kind of design that you've seen in a lot of the modern contemporary hotels nowadays. Now, if you were to head down and look at some of the brand new landed properties, being the RCR zoning, brand new inter-terraces are already in the range of about five odd million dollars in terms of overall quantum entry price. And some of these brand new inter-terraces, they might fall in the range of 1,006 to 2,000 square feet under construction kind of landed freehold properties. The per square foot is all ranging around the 3,000 odd dollars per square foot in terms of land PSF. Now, when you compare that in terms of overall quantum of Neven Road, five odd million dollars, 4,000 odd dollars per square foot. The disparity in terms of quantum is very similar. It's almost no, no disparity in terms of overall quantum. Disparity only happens on the PSF level. And this disparity between OCR, RCR, and the CCR freehold property is getting very close. And this means that this could be an opportunity for you to own something that has a next leg up movement in the next five to 10 years if you were to hold one of these type of properties in the D9 region. Because location, this is still the main core in terms of property investment. So coming back to the comparison between a renovated shop house like this at $5.7 million and let's say if you really can find something that is maybe $5.3 million non-renovated and decided to say, hey Mel, why don't I just pump in $400,000, $500,000 myself in terms of my own design sense and interior sense. This will work very well if you are willing to invest the time and of course, and to do something like this, especially for landed properties, you will need to have at least six to nine months in terms of total renovation duration. But Let's have a look at the numbers point of view if you're looking for investment angle. $5.7 million, we all know that you can put in 5% down payment and 20% cash plus CPF in totality, 25% is a down pay, additional 4% is a buyer stamp duty. So the cash component, if you have a lot of CPF, is only at this amount. Now, if you are looking at 5.3 million for a bare or non-renovated conservation shop house, or maybe a landed property, what you're putting is the same 25%, out of which 5% cash, 25% CPF, and 4% stamp duty. But if to add in another $500,000 cash for renovation, your total cash outlay will be the 5% cash plus the $500,000. Compared to a $5.7 million with a renovation that is being done in, the overall quantum will just be the 5% cash down payment. So this creates a significant difference in terms of the cash utilization because you're buying something with the renovation pumped in and pre-built into the price of this home. And of course, on top of the cash utilization is the time that you're saving in buying towards a fully gutted, renovated home. All right, so we've come to the end of this tour right here at this residential shop house at Neven Road, right here in District 9, part of Singapore. And if you're going to own something with a prime address, this might be something that is worth your effort to look at something that is below the $6 million quantum investment benchmark. And once again, if you want to have a look at this place, you can have a call to our listing managers and numbers are right down below. And my name is Melvin Lim, Procter Lim, brother, CEO and co-founder, and uh, always happy to show the place. Meantime, take care.
，呃，拖鞋哦，谁的拖鞋？漂亮，一五一。Two seven four four PSF， 吓死人了！哈哈哈哈哈！被我的脸被吓到。